the headlines. UNC Presidential Council meeting resolves to continue economic blockade. Next drive part I talk settled for March 25th. And UNC Presidential Council meeting cannot decide the fate of people of Manipur, says Emily L. Ibomta. Welcome to the ICV News and let's have the news in details. Despite great expectation of the people, the ongoing indefinite blockade imposed by the United Naga Council on the national highways is going to continue. According to a press release issued by General Secretary of UNC, S. Milan, the, the Emergency Presidential Council meeting of UNC was convened today at Senapati to consider the outcome of the tripartite meeting of the Government of Manipur, Government of India and the United Naga Council held on February 3rd at New Delhi. Declaration of seven new districts by the government of Manipur was the core issue to be discussed in the tripartite talk. The government of Manipur pleaded its helplessness on taking up the core issue in the talk, as election code of conduct prohibits any political decisions for rollback or otherwise either by the government of Manipur or the government of India. The next tripartite talk for taking up the core issue was then settled for March 25th this year, the press release said. On the other hand, the center and the government of Manipur moved for creating conducive atmosphere for the next tripartite meeting and it was agreed that none of the parties would go to the press on sensitive matters discussed in the talk. But the chief minister of Manipur has stated in the media that the core issue has not been put on the agenda and the UNC protest would be called off. After thorough deliberation, the council has concluded that the code of conduct cannot limit the Union of India nor the governor of the state of Manipur from intervening and fulfilling their constitutional ob obligation to safeguard and protect the land of the tribal as enshrined in the constituency. Therefore, the council meeting reiterates the rejection of the creation of the seven new districts and resolves to continue to fight attempts to acquire land of, La land of Nagas. It was further resolved that Nagas will also reject and fight against any other move that would affect the land and identity of Nagas, the press release stated. Presidential Council meeting of UNC cannot decide the fate of the people of Manipur. This was asserted by Emily L. Ibomcha in a press meet held in connection with his election campaign. Rather, the questions of whether UNC may exist in Manipur or not lies in the hands of the people and the state government, the MLA added. Existent campaigns against blockade and a Madhuri team necessarily. The Machida could blockade the sea. Yam Libu Tibuni, a Mogi, Presidential Council, give me from the Madhur Miami Libu Lepo de Nati. A Kogi Miami, a Canona, Dizana, Madhur Miami, Dizana, Amusum Madhuste Gomegi, Dizana, UNC, Madhuda, Higunda, Higunda, Lamber Land, the Bahavi Sea Aquina, Madhur Miamna, Amusum Madhusaka, and Dizan Lepo de Boni. As the election to the 11 Manipur Legislative Assembly, settled to be held on March 4 and 8, get closer, many candidates are quitting their old parties and joining new parties. Many candidates left their respective political parties as they have been disappointed because either they have not been given tickets to contest the election or got fed up with internal contradiction within the parties. Hence, they have decided to extend full support to their new parties. Candidates who defected from BJP joined Congress and from Congress have joined BJP and are vigorously preparing to fight their rivals in the election. Meanwhile, former BJP state councillor and executive member Maibam Joy Kishore, an aspiring candidate of BJP, has announced to support Congress candidate of Kaisam Thong Assembly constituency, Amelie Lai Shom Ibomcha. This was announced at a press meet held yesterday. Wife of Amelie L. Ibomcha, Indira, former Councillor of Ward Number 12 Usakiran and a large number of people attended the meeting. Joy Kishore alleged that BJP is a mean minded party and will not go along with the people of Manipur. <laughs> Not 
Former Vice President of MPCC, Sagol Sam Achoba of Wango Assembly Constituency, who recently quit Congress, aspiring Congress candidate of Langtabal Constituency, Mutum Dines, and aspiring BJP candidate of Tadubi, Hingba Thomas, were given a warm welcome by the leaders of Manipur National Democratic Front at the party office located at Babu Pala today. President of MNDF, CS Priyo Kumar, working president Bijoy Kojam, vice president Lian Gante, and many supporters of the party attended the function. Chairman of Wangoi Municipal Council and 11 Watt members also joined MNDF. Achoba said he joined the party believing that the party will go along with the people. Mutum Dinesh said there was injustice in allotment of tickets at Langtabal Assembly constituency. He will fight election from MNDF tickets and bring out the wrongdoings of the Congress, he added. Hingba Thomas said BJP has lied the people of Tadubi Assembly constituency while allotting tickets to the members. He expressed contentment to MNDF on approval of his joining to the party. Walking president of MNDF Bijoy Koizum said his party will not indulge in speaking ill of other political parties. The party aims to fight election for peaceful coexistence of Manipur, he added. Congress of BJP and Yesimakoy Masel, who never did that. Koyleva Miamda, Nakongwa Isinba, Mit Nuaitaba, Kabar Pavada, Madutanzado Lagle. Other Sumba, Levaki, Amosum Pradasigi, Kandava, Party Sipunmak, Hundolaga, Manipurgi Pajana, Command, I high command of Vedova, a Sumba party as he Manipur Labour Pradasing, the Sagopu Havigi, Wakum do hek. Left and Democratic Front has announced names of the candidate who will contest the first phase of the general election. The fund was formed by six political parties to contest with Congress and BJP. The announcement was made by the Central Committee member of CPI, M. Gautam Das, while addressing a press conference at Manipur Press Club today. A total of 29 candidates were announced for the first phase. A common minimum program of the party was also released during the press conference. Addressing the media persons, convener of the party, Dr. M. Nara said, The common minimum program includes point lakhs, repeal of AFASPA, improvement of national highways to the level of highways in other states, promoting the culture of Manipur and other fields such as education, health, agriculture, etc. <laughs> Election campaign of BJP candidate Nahakpam Indrajit in Katergao Assembly constituency was held today. In what Nahakpam Indrajit said, the people will not see Congress again. He will take up many developmental works for the constituency, he added. Ex-President of BJP Yuva Mocha Omalis, after he quit the party, has announced that he will still contest the assembly poll. A public meeting of Nauria Pakhang Lakpa Assembly constituency was held at his residence at Kwakitel today. The announcement was made at the public meeting after his supporters unanimously adopted the resolutions to make him a candidate in the ensuing general election. Candidate in Langtabal Assembly con constituency Nila Kumar also attended the meeting. Those who attended the meeting shouted slogans like, Let's root out BJP, let's defeat the party, etc. Speaking at the meeting, Omar Les said, he joined BJP, believing in Narendra Modi's ideals. However, in Manipur, the party is filled with all kinds of dirt. The party ticket was given on the basis on corruption. There are many BJP candidates who have criminal records. It clearly proves what kind of party BJP is. If the BJP forms the next government, Manipur will become a state filled with dirt, or more or less asserted. <laughs>
NPP candidate in Kaisamthong Assembly constituency and Jayanta Kumar today accorded warm welcome to some of the men walkers of Kaisamthong Block Congress Committee who recently quit Congress and joined NPP. Some of the men Congress walkers who joined the party are General Secretary of Committee, Treasurer, President of Youth Congress, President of Mahila Congress, Secretaries and many others. Those who spoke at the reception program please it to root out Congress and ensure that the party does not succeed again. Speaking at the program, LJ and the Kumar said he does not have any objection to those who pave their ways while the election is drawing closer. Let the ECI decide if their ways are against the guidelines of the election model code of conduct. He refuted the statement that he is against making their ways to the election. <laughs> But the election commission of India lay Madu Yang Jinabel lay a court of conduct generate, but the Toba Ya, Ya de Dues, Don't Smado, authority to be a Dovene Dubu, Kendi Praza, Amo in Akumi and Palma de Di, authority in a Tabu or on the individual on Tabu or on Lambi Yadam, the Berlambi Shambira put the Queen on my Fawi, Medai Kutanga, Akweda Lana, Sandogodova, Bakri Porkara, Queda, Samin. The flag postcard allotted to the director of DIPR, government of Manipur, K. Mega Chandra Kongbam, has been requisitioned by the officials of transport department for use in the upcoming election to the Manipur Legislative Assembly. The swift car was taken in custody of the transport officials this afternoon in front of the old secretary while the director was coming toward his office at MSRTC complex. He then reportedly went on foot to the office. It is reported that the director had written a letter to the director of transport department to exempt the vehicles of DIPR as the department is closely connected with efforts to make the election smooth and successful. The department has opened election office in all district from where reports relating to the election are to be disseminated by its officials and media persons too. As such, the vehicles of the department are really necessary, the latter had pointed out. It, was worth, it is worth mentioning that knowing the importance of the role of the department, its vehicle used to be exempted in the past election. DC of Info West C. Arthur has said there will be some changes while filling nomination papers for the candidate in the upcoming election. Some changes will also be witnessed in the election process, he added. The nomination file to be date sing the tarik for Kenobaba 14 Boba except away. Aduga scrutiny Tabana, Tarik Tarat Rukta Taujagani. Secondly, under election say IT based solutions uh, introduced Taurabani. For example, uh, permit Kumba, permission Kumba Launa Bagi, Suvidha Hena. Objective Mamang Dona, uh, Office the Laga, Che Chang Chen, Naraga Tauba Darka Tararoi, online directly applied or even permission can be given online. Similarly, a uh, Koigi uh, complaint redressal mechanism habitare. Online, that is called Samadhan. Masishu introduced our opening, it is already in effect. Info versus 512 polling station in 13 assembly constituency. Seven returning officers and 11 assistant returning officers have taken charge to look after election related activities. Software to consider complaints, re complaints regarding the election and new application forms requesting permission for hiring vehicles is being used, he added. Commission, ma'am, koi nashu yam kan emphasis piri person with disability se. Adu ki damai koi nashu polling station se mapping koi polling station mapping of persons with disability. We are also working on the facility to provide wheelchairs for to facilitate the voters during poll. And in fact, uh, we will be trying to engage the ashas or the anganwadi workers to assist the disabled voters during voting. The Information Center for Hill Areas Manipur Icham has appealed to all concer concerned to not to criticize each other. The center called for a joint effort to make fuel available to the people. The appeal was made by the General Secretary of the center, Ngachon Mi Ramsang, while addressing a press conference held at the office of the center located near Kekupa today. He said, even though stock is available, the authority concern has been unable to distribute petrol effectively. As such, the center started conducting drive at oil pumps since January 30 to find out the main cause of the failure. As part of the drive, two petrol pumps that were found distributing petrols in a wrong manner were banned by the center, the general secretary of Ichem added. On the other hand, President N. Razendro said during the 
series of drives conducted by the center, it was found out that the authority concern had been given out permits to some petrol pumps to allocate petrol to selected groups of people. About 49% of the total stocks of petrol available were allocated to reserve categories. However, HM does not have any objection to initiative taken up by TDC to make fuel available for passenger carrier vehicles. The center simply made an appeal to the authority concerned to stop allocating fuels in an unjust manner. It is very unfortunate that TDC has made certain allegations before the media against each President and Rajendra added. in connection with the third foundation day of Mami Taibang, a voluntary blood donation came was held at Blood Bank of Rims today. The blood donation came was jointly organized by Mami Taibang, Life Savior, HDFC Bank, Lions Club of Infar Greater, State Blood Cell and NHSM. About 50 persons donated blood at the donation camp. Managing Director of Life Saver Patma Kumar said, Blood is something that is very important to human life. In an unfortunate incident that happened at Kangla Sifai, Impalis, a girl child has been admitted at Ras Medi City with severe head injury. The incident happened when a fight took place between some children. The girl has been identified as Nongmai Tem Chinkhanganbi, as it ate, daughter of N Kendo. She is a student of Standard 3 at Northeastern English School, Kewa. Mother of Thinking Aunt B. Sumila said her daughter went out of the house around 3 p.m. yesterday saying that she would exchange toys with her friend but did not return home. Her family and residents of the locality searched for her till, la till late evening. Later, she was found lying hurt about 200 meters from her home in the bruises around 6 p.m. She was found with bruises on her face. <laughs> General Manager of Ras Medi City, Katri Mayum Dine said, if bringing Chinkhanganbi to hospital was delayed by one hour, her treatment would have been near impossible. However, her condition is now stable. Mouth injuries supposedly caused by a heavy object was found in the back of her head and several other bruises were found in her face, he added. Abdomen is screening. Abdomen is clean. Abdomen is clean. Abdomen is post traumatic. Abdomen is psychiatric. Abdomen is already a information. Even though oil pumps in Tawal district have stopped their services, people witnesses patrol sold at the roadsides. Taking into serious consideration, the student organizations have resolved to ban selling of petrol at the roadsides in a press meet held yesterday. A team of seven IRB, NCRB, Cycle Police, Sagolmang Police, and Imphalis Commandos led by SP of Imphalis District, Kabib, destroyed poppy planted in 20 acres of land at Changsang Village between Saikul and Sagolmang today at 11 in the morning. A training program for PMEGP beneficiaries was launched at office of ICM office, Lamphelpad. Altogether, 55 PMEGP beneficiaries of Tamenglong District participated at the training program. Senior faculty member of ICM Dr. Herozit spoke in relation with the training program to the participants. The training program will be held till February 18. Mayra Sanglen of Saito Nupi Samas Chaukat Loop constructed with a total cost of one and a half lakh rupees was inaugurated at Saiton Bazaar. President of Poirei Laimarol Mayra Paibi Apun Mamanipur Mem Chobi, President of Saito Nupi Samas Chaukat Loop Tokchom Amurei and many people attended the function. 
President of Poirier Limeral Memchobi appealed to the women folk to stand united and elect a qualified representative from his constituency. <laughs> The headlines once again. UNC Presidential Council meeting resolved to continue economic blockade. Next tripartite talk settled for March 25th. And UNC Presidential Council meeting cannot decide the fate of the people of Manipur, says Emily L. Ibomcha. That's all for today and thank you for watching.